<clears throat> this is for our door-to-door -door cash galore fundraiser. 1,200 candy bars. Do you think your students can sell that many? Oh, <laughs> they'll sell them all right. They do whatever I tell them. I run a tight ship here. What's that? Stop! Hold on! Wait! <laughs> Settle down, you bunch of goons! <laughs> you almost knocked down school superintendent Fuss Budget, who is here to see if I'm doing a good job. Which I am. What are you giving me? An A plus? Hmm? The stinkers, <laughs> I mean students, are all excited about the trampoline. You know, I used to be quite the gymnast. Really? Step aside, children. Let Greedy Guts show you how it's done. What you need you to stay off that trampoline. Don't fret, children. Despite my broken leg... You twisted your ankle, Twinkle Toes. Whatever. Despite my injury, I will return to my principaling duties as soon as possible. Greedy guts, this gymnasium is a disgrace. I'm going to have to shut it down. What? A disgrace? What do you mean? Unsafe climbing ropes. Unbalanced balance beams. And a major pest problem. But, but, <laughs> we call it an adventure, Jim. It teaches the students to be resourceful. I declare this gymnasium unsafe and closed till further notice. From now on, your gym classes will be replaced by double math classes. No! 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 Excuse me, ma'am. Would you please reconsider? We'd really like our gym back. We'd really like our gym back. Mm, so you can play games instead of doing real schoolwork. Yeah. yeah! That's what I thought. You lazy bones don't deserve a gymnasium. Wait, wait! What if we prove to you we aren't lazy? If you and your friends can roll up your sleeves and sell a thousand candy bars by 8 p.m. Friday, I'll approve the funds to fix up your gym. Yeah! Yeah! A thousand? A thousand? our first house, the Leduc Mansion. I hear old man Leduc is a mad scientist. Every day an ambulance brings him dead bodies for his experiments. He zaps them and brings them back to life. I heard he cuts them up, mixes the pieces around, and sews them back together with the arms and ears and noses all in the wrong places. Those are just crazy rumors. <laughs> Let's start with the next house. Okay. To get to a thousand, 
Each student has to sell 50 bars. We can do that. You bet. All it takes is going up and knocking on the doors of total strangers and talking to those total strangers and convincing the total strangers to buy candy bars. I never thought of it that way. Let's split up. We can cover more ground that way. Total strangers? Total strangers? Ay. Just go and ring the bell. It's easy. We'll meet back at the school when we're sold out. <coughs> yes? Uh. Can I help you? C candy school take up me. Oh, sorry. I don't have any candy. No, I mean, I... Ugh. Why, hello, Jacob. Hi, Miss Darling, sweetie pie. I was wondering... Come in. You look thirsty. Would you like some iced tea? How about a cookie? No, thank you. I was just wondering if... Here, try one of these. I was just wondering if... Butter tart? No, thank you, ma'am. I was wondering if you'd like to buy them. Everyone loves my butter tarts. Funny how they're called tarts when they're not tart at all. They're only two dollars. <laughs> Have another tart. How about a scone for the road? No, thank you. No, thank you. Bye. Two hours and not a single sale. This is going to be so embarrassing. Can we have Jim and Double Mask? Hi, guys. What's wrong with you? I let everyone down. I didn't sell a single candy bar. You're not the only one. Join the club. Didn't anybody sell anything? No. no. It's hard, dude. <gasps> you sold some? Not exactly. I got hungry and ate one. I owe you two bucks. <laughs> At this rate, it'll take you ten years to sell a thousand bars. Actually, sir, at one bar per day, it'll take 999 more days. Just under three years. Whatever. The point is, you've only got four days, not 900. 999. <laughs> I guess we're not gonna make it, huh? Yes, we are. We can sell a thousand candy bars. We've got to. If we don't, there'll be no more gym. That means no more dodgeball, no more trampoline, no more gymnastics, no more wrestling, no more basketball, no more ballroom dancing. No! <laughs> no gym means no sports at all. Do you want that? No. no. Do you want double math classes? No. no. Can we have gym and double math? No. no. Do we want to save our gym? Yes! Are we gonna work hard to save our gym? Yes! yes. Are we gonna go out there and sell a thousand candy bars? Yes! That's it. I'm done. Yay! Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Hello, sweetie. Are you selling candy bars? I'll take 18. Mom, you're supposed to pretend you don't know me. Oh, right. Sorry. Well, hello, little boy. Hello, ma'am. I'm Jacob Tutu, and I was... Ma'am, that's so cute. I'll buy 18. Mom! Well, you're just so darn sweet, I can't resist. Sorry to bother you. I was wondering if... Can't I... you see I'm busy? That was better. But remember, never give the customer a chance to shut the door. Just put your foot like so. That's sales rule 47. The key to selling anything to the ladies is flattery. Butter them up. How? Compliment them on their shoes, or their nails, or their hair. Doesn't matter what. They'll eat it up. Yes? Ha! Huh. Good evening, miss. What do you want? Ma, your press-on nails look wonderfully applied tonight. I'm here to offer you the finest candy bars in this whole hallway. So, what's in them? Uh, 
Monosterate 60? What the heck is that? I don't know. How about Tartrazine Polyrisinoliate? I have no idea. Sorry, Jake. No sale. You've got to know your product. Today's consumer is very discriminating about what they put in their mouth. Hello? Is anyone home? Arr, what do ye want? Greetings, ma'am. You're looking particularly lovely today. How would you like a Sugar Buzz candy bar? Second only to Styrofoam for your recommended daily allowance of the sodium phosphate. That's the worst sales pitch I've ever heard. Feed him to the Jaguar. Arr. <laughs> Jaguar attack. You've got to liven up that spiel, Jakey. You need jokes. Like, why did the students study in a plane? To get a higher education. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Why did the students study in a... the chicken cross the... Nice shoes, nice shoes. <laughs> modified milk ingredients, modified milk ingredients. <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the hydrogenated polymer? You have really beautiful hair, really beautiful hair. It's hard to get both sides to look the same, so my dad said I shouldn't cut my own hair anymore. Do you want to buy a candy bar? Thanks. Thanks. The pain is excruciating, but I just grin and bear it and soldier on. What are you writing? Ow! Oh, the pain. <clears throat> Children are just naturally lazy. That's why they'll never sell a thousand candy bars, not in a million years. We did it! Huh? We sold a thousand candy bars. But of course. Of course! I knew they'd do it. So we'll get our gym back? Wait a minute. You're short. <coughs> there are 50 candy bars unaccounted for. 50? 50? 50 bars missing? Well, Tutu, you're going to have to make up the difference. Okay, everybody. We've got to go back out. <gasps> Where is everybody? Where is everybody? They went home. What's wrong? We need to sell 50 more bars, and we only have one hour left. But there's nobody left to sell to. We've already covered the whole city. My family won't buy anymore. My dad ate so many he got sick, and Mom said it served him right. My mom already bought 18. She was my only sale. There must be someone we missed. What about these two houses? That's Miss Darling's Sweetie Pies. And the old Lidzuk place. Renee and I will try here. Buford, you try Miss Darling's Sweetie Pie. She is an impossible sale. She will tuck your ear off. Oh, well, I'll give it a shot. I bet there's nothing to be scared of. Oui, it is just an old house. <laughs> an old house that screams. Aye. Here goes nothing. I've been waiting for you all day. Come on up. How did he know we were coming? 
He must have heard about the candy sale. Come on. Hello, dear. Would you like to have a little cookie? Hello, my name is Buford Orville Keeler Pew, which my dad says is a lot of names for a little guy, but I've grown a whole inch since the summer. I smell cookies. They must have gotten lost. Go find them. I've been waiting to operate on those two kids all day. Hey, watch out! Here's a good one. If you had three cookies and could only eat one every hour, how long before they were all gone? Why, I... You're going to say three hours, but it's actually two because you eat one now, the second after one hour, and the third after two hours. Not. Do you still want to try selling candy bars to old man the deck? We we've got to. Come on, I think I see a shortcut. And then the sheriff rides up and throws his lasso and ropes the bad guys just as they're running away. And then my dad came in and turned off the TV. Don't because you it was... want to sell me a candy bar or something? Oh, first I want to tell you about the time my cousin fell off the roof. May I have another scone? They're delicious. Oh. Nice shortcut. A slight miscalculation. This way. No, merci. I'm going this way. Suit yourself. I bet I'll get there first. I don't think so. <laughs> Duke is a veterinarian. But remember, never give the customer a chance to shut the door. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Who are you? What do you want? My name is Jacob, and I'm selling candy for my school. Not interested. If we don't sell a thousand bars, they're going to shut down our gymnasium. No more sports for the whole school. No sports? Mais c'est terrible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Combien? Uh, how much? Two dollars. No. How much for the whole box? Ah. <gasps> hmm. Time's almost up. <laughs> <laughs> the extra math will do those little stinkers a world of good. Wait! We did it! We did it! Oh, dear. You're still one short. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. And less than a minute left. Hi, everybody. Did you do did it? Did you sell any candy bars? Miss Darling Sweetie Pie makes really good cookies. I like the ones with the nuts better than the real ones. Buford! Here you go! Yay, Yay Buford! I think I know where those 50 missing bars went. <gasps> Are you suggesting? Uh, I didn't... I... Uh, I am shocked. I think I've got your final mark. A plus? D 
D-minus. Rats. I was very impressed by your hard work. Congratulations. Enjoy. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Amazing. I think that your beloved principal should get the first jump, don't you? Don't worry. I ordered a special industrial strength trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> oh. ah! Help! Help! Get me a ladder! No! <laughs> <laughs> I still think we should have extra math classes and no gym. No way! Who can answer this math problem? Two kids play three games of tic-tac-toe. Each of them wins the same number of games, but there are no ties. How is this possible? I don't know. They're not playing each other. That's not math. Logical thinking is part of math. When does 10 plus 3 equal 1? I know, on the clock. 10 o'clock plus 3 hours is 1 o'clock. There are 12 one cent stamps in a dozen. But how many two cent stamps are in a dozen? Six. Wrong. 12. A dozen is always 12. Of course. See you next time. <laughs>